The Jeddah Tower, which calls to mind a cluster of leaves shooting out of the ground, might very well supersede the Burj Khalifa, which has held the record of the world's tallest freestanding structure since its launch in Dubai in 2010. From the highest observatory deck ever constructed, to lifts that rise so high that you'll notice a shift in air pressure. The Jeddah Tower will astound you. That is why today, here in Luge Fluent, I'll personally be sharing with you Jeddah's Tower of Luxury. And before we embark on a tour to explore the Jeddah Tower and learn further about Saudi Arabia's mega projects, it would be amazing if you subscribed and hit the notification bell. So you'll always be the first to know about the latest trends in luxury and lifestyle as we share them. So, how about we get started? It is sometimes referred to as the home of Islam because it is home to Islam's holiest cities, Mecca and Medina. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is a youthful desert country with nearly a quarter of the world's oil reserves, making it the world's largest. Simply stated, it exports more oil to the rest of the globe than any other country. As a result, it has become extremely wealthy. Saudi Arabia's religion and wealth have inspired them to construct something iconic on the global stage, similar to Egypt's pyramids and France's Eiffel Tower. They intend to construct the world's tallest skyscraper, known as the Jeddah Tower, in Saudi Arabia's most liberal city, Jeddah. The tower will significantly help in the promotion of development and tourism in the country. It was designed and funded by Prince Al-Walid bin Talal, the richest man in the Middle East and a member of the Saudi royal family. The Jeddah Tower will not be your typical structure. It will be the tallest structure in the world. Saudi Arabia does not want to confirm the tower's final height in order to maintain competition. Despite this, it will almost certainly be the world's first building to exceed 1 km in length. Interestingly, the chief designer of the Jeddah Tower also designed the Burj Khalifa, so the undertaking is in great company. The visionary Jeddah Economic City's first phase and central focus of attraction will be the Jeddah Tower, making it just a tiny puzzle piece of a much larger project. The Jeddah Economic City is a development in Jeddah that is roughly three times the size of Manhattan. It will house commercial and residential developments such as homes, hotels, and offices. The project as a whole will house up to 2 million new citizens. It will cost a lot of money, with estimates putting the total at $22 billion. The tower's construction is part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, which aims to elevate Jeddah's global standing by diversifying the country's economy and reducing its reliance on oil. This skyscraper will undoubtedly be the crowning glory, with great engineering and design, heat-deflecting glass, and lifts that use carbon fiber to defy gravity's power. The Jeddah Tower Soaring out of the desert with an elegant appearance is sure to impress. It will have 200 floors and will include luxury hotel rooms, service departments, and offices. Its design was inspired by the leaves of desert plants, but it will also be very functional. The aerodynamic triangular shape and sloping exterior of the structure will assist in minimizing the effects of the wind's lateral forces on the structure. Throughout the summer, temperatures in Jeddah can reach up to 50 degrees Celsius. The exterior of the tower is wrapped with high-tech glass with low conductivity to reduce the power used by air conditioning systems, making the heat more manageable. The outdoor terraces of the Jeddah Tower will provide spectacular views of the city and sea due to its height. It will also have the highest observation deck in the world at 652 meters above sea level, surpassing Shanghai Tower's observation deck, which is currently joint highest at 562 meters above sea level. Before we proceed, let's chat in the comments section about your thoughts on this mega project. Would you live in one if given the chance? After that, let's continue. Initially, 
The Jeddah Tower Observation Deck was supposed to be a circular helipad 30 meters across to provide quick access to the penthouse. However, because the wind at that altitude makes landing risky, they decided to modify their plans. The tower, which is still packed with incredible engineering, will have highly specialized lifts that can reach 660 meters above sea level. At these altitudes, you'll notice a difference in air pressure. The Jeddah Tower will also feature never-before-seen double-decker lifts that will transport you from the first level to the observation deck in just 6 to 7 seconds. The Jeddah Tower will have a total of 59 elevators. Meanwhile, due to the tower's extreme height, the lifts will move at a slower speed than regular lifts to prevent nausea from the sudden change in air pressure. It will also include three sky lobbies to avoid any one elevator from needing to ascend all the way to the top, eradicating the need for extremely long cables. It may require some time to occupy all 200 floors. Consider that it took two decades for the Empire State Building to load up with tenants. Nobody can refuse to acknowledge that the Jeddah Tower will be a sight to behold. But how is it going to come to reality? The construction of such an unusual structure necessitates the use of high-tech tools, a large number of workers, and a large sum of money. The tower's estimated cost is $1.2 billion. The building process began in April 2013. A strong foundation is required for such a tall structure. As a result, the engineers chose a piling foundation, which extends deep into the sandy soil and transfers loads to stronger, more compact, and stiffer rocks. The foundation work was finished in December 2013 with a 5-meter thick top foundation above 1.8-meter diameter piles that reach depths of up to 105 meters that is exceptionally firm. After the piling was completed, above-ground construction began in late 2014. A skyscraper of this size necessarily involves a large amount of concrete, with parts of the core walls being several meters thick. The central core of the tower was officially at level 60 as of October 2017, and the walls were 248 meters tall. The design has been kept simple, to allow for quick and efficient construction. But it was much easier said than done. The tower's concept was not well received by all Saudis. Some of them were concerned that the high cost of construction would have a negative financial impact on the kingdom. With a budget approaching $2 billion, its opening date was progressively pushed back to 2020 as the economy regressed. That was only the early stages of the challenges. Construction was halted in early 2018 when one of the project's main shareholders was taken into custody as part of a political purge. Work on the Jeddah Tower has come to a halt less than a quarter of the way through the 1,000-meter-high project. There has been no revision to the completion date since then, but construction on the neighboring projects in the master plan of the Jeddah Economic City has persisted. What will be the tower's fate now? Except for the Saudi government, no one knows. But even so, the mystery will persist in the near future. Even after it's completed, the tower will confront new difficulties. It is unlikely that it will remain the world's tallest skyscraper for long. Whatever happens, the skyscraper is expected to place Jeddah on the map as a development icon for several years ahead. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has enlightened you. This has been Luge Fluent, reminding you to get fluent, stay fluent. Up until next time.